Welcome back to another exciting video from Cambria and Bobby. In today's video, Bailey celebrates his fourth birthday. I drive an electric scooter. See a preview of the boys first video in over a year on their craze bro channel and freya learns if you want toys you gotta buy them yourself all that and more so stick around yeah <laughs> Did you miss them? Who else is here? I love you. Thank you. All right, so we just got home not too long ago from our trip to Wisconsin, and it's Bur Bailey's birthday today. So we are going to, they didn't have any of those doggy cakes at the store. Don't touch, you're gonna break it. Um, so we're gonna do peanut butter and some sprinkles. We'll make our own cake for them out of this dog biscuit. No, do the, the peanut butter. It's made with peanut butter, so it's just we're adding to it, basically. All right, can you do it? You don't know how to, you know, take uh, peanut butter and put it on something? Okay, that's enough peanut butter. You're gonna need more than that. All right, yeah. Get like a big glob. Scrape it off the side. It's Bailey's birthday. No. It's Bailey's birthday. No. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's not Freya's birthday. It's Bailey's birthday. Yeah, you're not a doggy. Maybe you are. I don't know. Could be secretly a dog. Hold on. Bailey, do you want a birthday treat? What sprinkles should we do, Mama? Oh. That noise in the background was Cambria watching Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> no, no funny business. Oh, <laughs> Maybe. I heard it. It was pretty loud. I was thinking we could do there that. Alright, so now you can put sprinkles on it. Don't do like globs. Like, sprinkle it nicely. Oh my goodness. Do you know how to... There you go. That's how you sprinkle. All right, so now Bailey has his birthday cake, birthday cake treat. He doesn't need more. That's fine. That's good, baby. That's good. He doesn't need sprinkles. Not that, you know, crazy amount. I was thinking we do whipped cream and sprinkles, but... Somebody ate all the whipped cream. Ate all of it. You ate all the whipped cream. Good thing we got peanut butter. All right. So let's bring in Bailey here. He's laying on the couch. Oh, hey, Dad. Just Bailey, not Drake. What do you mean, not Drake? Hey, Bailey. Hey, it's your birthday today. Did you know that? Yeah, what'd you get me? Happy birthday, Bailey. Hey, all right, put it on the ground for Bailey. Put it on the ground. Look at Bailey. That doesn't you get look a like a steak. You want it? Go ahead, Bailey. Eat it. Eat it. Okay. Eat it. Come on. I don't see any whipped cream on it. <laughs> you, you're too good for your treats? Yeah, there's no whipped cream on it. What the hell, treats. Dad? 
<laughs> He's happy that he has his birthday. Here, come on. Okay. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. It's a dog bone. Do you want it, Bailey? Really? Oh. Hey. Really, hey, Bailey? Happy birthday. I think he... Bailey. Bailey. Right here. This is why whipped cream would have been helpful, Freya. Jesus. <laughs> Because Bailey would have ate it if it had whipped cream on it. I sure would. Eat your treat. No, 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 no. Get some whipped cream. I want whipped cream. Here. Bailey. Here, grab it and hold it for him. Maybe he'll take it out of your hand. There you go, Bailey. No. Has he got it? Do you like it? I want it. No, no, no. The sprinkles are pretty good. I don't know about this peanut butter stuff. All right, I'm sure he'll eat it eventually. Meet the teacher this morning. So the boys got to meet their teacher. Xander got to do his safety patrol meeting. Um, and now, all of us are heading to the store to go first day of school shopping. I they already have their school supplies and everything, and I don't do a whole like brand new wardrobe every single school year. Um, they get clothes when they need clothes, <laughs> but we'll let them go pick out an outfit. Yeah, first day of school is different. Getting that first day, they already have the nerves of a new school year and everything. Picking out their outfit, plus they got money from Grandma Gloria for their birthdays. For their birthdays, which so. is coming up. Yeah. Freya's is in just a couple weeks. Two and then, weeks. Yeah, two weeks. And then the boys in a month ish. So, they're also going to go shopping and pick what they want. Bjorn, though, thinks he wants a video game. Um, but we told him we would get him the video. He has enough money for it. And it's a downloadable one, right? On VR? Yeah. So, we'll get it to him if he wants it, but we told him, let's go shopping first, just to confirm. Well, and it's better that he waited, because initially when he wanted that game... It was 50 It was $50. Now it's down to 40 but I told him if he waits longer, I usually get, like, a online coupon for 30% off. Oh. So, if he waits to the end of this month, I probably will get a coupon in an email saying, hey, here's 30% off your next purchase. So we might do that for him. Really up to him. Nice thing about this is it's good, like, learning experience for them to budget their own money. But yeah, that's where we're off. Princess Barbies. Wow. We're having another one. Just asking. Yeah. Do you want the Barbies? That would be enough. But I'm not buying it. I just asked you. Me. If you want these, you can pick three. Okay. Who's this? Uh, Anna. Moana. Do you want Moana? Yes or no? Uh, Anna. Hi. Is that Anna's right there? No. Moana. Moana. Uh, so no Elsa or Anna? Okay. So they also have Ariel with a tail. A puzzle. Yeah. Rapunzel. Yeah. Oh, they do have Rapunzel. Yeah. Watch out, though. She comes with a little animal. Uh, Rapunzel? Yeah. All right. You can pick one more. An uh, Elsa. You already have an Elsa, baby. She wants a big Elsa. No, How you much? have Elsa. Okay, that one's a little more, but it comes with Olaf. Freya, you have Elsa. Let's see. Got, look at Cinderella. Cinderella. Belle. <laughs> they have um, Ariel. And it comes with the crab too. What do you want? Thirty dollars. Forty dollars. Oh wow! Look, that's that one. Uh huh. A white. So what do you want, Freya? That one. You can't get that one. Jasmine? Oana. Oana. Yes. Eh, eh, I took it from Mama Oana. Elsa? No! 
So you want these three? Because you only get three. Oh, I pick. I pick. I pick. I pick. You want those three? Okay, so just so you know, for that color, let me see it. I'm gonna have to bleach you. <laughs> Dark colors, I won't need bleach. Light colors, I'm going to need bleach. Yeah, but that's a really cool blue. Do you want blue? This, this actually. That'll fade out over time. So I would just go with the dark one. Is that what you want? 100% sure? That's new hair color? New school, new hair? Well, not new school. You sure you don't want to go purple? Blanky box purple? Purple. You want to do a lanky box? That's purple. Or do you want to do a dark red? That's... All right, you sure? This is it? Good to go? All right, you hold it. You're paying for it. Nope. <laughs> I'm joking. If I am, I'm putting it back right away. <laughs> I'm not making you pay for your hair dye. Good. I know you want the video game. Alright, put it in your cart. You have to wait. Hand her that money. <laughs> your money. Look at Freya, they were on sale. You got them cheaper. Yeah, they were only five dollars a piece. Oh well, shoot, we could have got more. It's all right. It's fine. Yeah, it'll go into our bank account. There you go, Freya. Oh, get your monies. Good job. What are we doing? Making my hair purple. Why? Because of school starting up. <laughs> yeah. So we're doing that before Daddy cuts your hair because it needs a trim. But and then Freya. Wanted to be like her brother. Freya, did you want to be like Bjorn? Yeah. So, she's not getting her whole head done. We put her hair in a ponytail and she's just getting the tips. Uh, also, Daddy's not home, so Daddy's just going to come home <laughs> to his princess with purple hair. Freya, are you going to be Daddy's princess with purple hair? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. So, she's getting a little bit of purple. And then Bjorn has his typical top. All of this will get cut off, so that's why I'm not too worried about it. We'll see what Daddy says when he gets home. About Freya. Yeah? Is that good? It's good pizza? Yeah. Bye. Don't move. I'm going to show it, okay? No, don't, don't move. Stay right there. <laughs> Stop moving. Freya, look at Drake. Look at Drake. Look at Drake. All right, go show your brothers. What do you think, Xander? Simple. It's not too over the top. You want you want to look at Freya's hair? <laughs> Daddy home? Yeah. Are we waiting for him to come inside yeah. to show him your makeover? Yeah. 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 Fun. You are so pretty, right? I said it. Yeah. We just gotta wait for Daddy. You're excited? Yes. You're excited. A sad home now? He is home. But we gotta wait for him to come inside. A daddy back. Mm-hmm. Do you think he'll love it? Yeah. Yeah. A pretty purple hair? Yeah, pretty purple hair. I saw you. Purple hair? 
Not showing you her makeup. Hang on, your hair. What'd you do? Did Mama dye your hair? Yeah. Yeah. Is that pretty? That is pretty. Say we just did the hey, Dad, ends. Where you been? Where'd you bring me? <laughs> do you like your hair? Two yeah. colors. Yeah. Yeah. Did your brother dye his hair? Pet me, pet me. Oh, yeah, that's the spot. Yep, right yeah, there, Daddy. that's why you wanted it, because you, you both have purple hair now. <laughs> I got it working. Hey, it's something. So Bobby got these scooters from his dad. He was just sitting in his basement, and Dad wasn't sure if they still worked, but... Probably worked better with somebody lighter on it. Yeah. But it works. The boys will be excited. Yeah. Is right. Is the other one charging now? I'm trying a different charger on it. I didn't try it out to see if it works yet. Oh, Look okay. at There's a slug here. Crawling on our spa. I'm pretty sure it's a slug. Look yeah, I'm a slug. What is it? Slug? Wait, I'll, I'll look back up. And then look at his antenna come out. A slug? Yeah, look at him. I found one of these guys in our pool filter the other day. Yeah, that was my brother. He's an idiot. I don't know what he's doing up on our spa. Yeah, slug. Yeah, he's a slug. What the heck? What's this slug doing? A slug doing. What is he trying to do? I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. He's on our spa, though. Do you think the ducks would eat him? No, 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 no. Don't feed me to the ducks. No, 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 no. You want to let the ducks out? Right, so, month two of carnivore shopping. So, we got... That, that stuff has actually lasted way more than a month. Because we still have Oh, we still meat. have more meat, yeah. It's been five weeks since we shopped last. Yeah, you're right, so... Not bad. Yeah, so you're right. We still got meat from last month, which was 365 this haul right here, we have a couple opportunity buys, but not a whole lot. So these were 25% off. 25% off! Woo! And then we got this bacon will work with our diet. It's not cured in sugar. Yeah, it's not cured in sugar. So we got bacon now. Lamb. Ooh. We got lamb. We got duck because we're not going to eat our OG ducks. Uh, so we got duck here. Uh, pork chops, it looks like. But here's the big one. Salmon. Skin on. Skin on salmon. So this wasn't, this was the more, the more expensive item. So for all this meat from Restaurant Depot, 340 bucks. Now remember, 365 was when we first went. We still got that meat. Um, so when you think about it, $365 a month ago that was our our grocery bill we still have meat and then now we got this load um, so think about that a lot of people are going to the grocery store once a week they're spending a hundred at least a hundred so that's four hundred dollars right and then that's that's usually if you're like one or two people now I'll talk about five people Oh, yeah, we were spending a lot at the grocery store. So getting this meat from Restaurant Depot is a big difference and a lot cheaper. I'll just show you. Here's what meat we have left in our freezer. So we still have meat. We still have salmon patties, skin off. Still got chicken. Still got pork belly. And we got some sausages. Now that's... Those sausages down there are... Homemade, so that's that. I don't know what the heck that is. Oh, those are steaks. Oh, wait, no. Are these? Oh, they're pork chops, sorry. So we got, these are the ribeyes. Can I get um, some of that, Dad? So we still got meat left, is the point. So you think about all that money, you're like, oh my God, that's too much. Um, but we still have food left. And 
it's definitely cheaper than what we were paying before in uh, groceries. So, big difference. Everybody thinks carnivore is expensive. You, you can, you don't have to make it expensive. You can do carnivore on pure spam and hot dogs. That's like the uber budget, cheapest way to do it. You can just, if you can handle living off of hot dogs and spam, you could do carnivore. But well, we're not going to do that. <laughs> so, yeah. What's a good, like, also showing that the stuff I have here, bacon's not going to be cheap. No, bacon's expensive. Pork belly's a lot cheaper because you usually get more out of it. Yeah. Lamb, a little bit more. Yep. Actually, this wasn't too, too bad. It was two fifty four a pound. It was on sale. Okay. That's why I got it. Oh, and yeah. this is seven pounds of bacon? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that would not be cheap at the store. But I got to cut it up. Yeah, well, it looks like it's partially kind of cut. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> okay. But... This, this is pretty cheap. The boneless, cutting up the pork chops, that's not bad. No. Um, salmon's a little bit more expensive, but it gets a lot of nutrients that you're not getting out of. Just the, just the meats. Meat. So that's where your fish gets all that extra nutrients and everything. Organ meat, fish, those are good things to have in the diet just to make sure you are getting all the nutrition. Okay, okay. Awesome. Well, there you go. That's our uh, meat updates. Well, we're gonna try change it up a bit. All right, so after getting back from our trip, I guess while we were gone, we had some heat, in heat, in yeah. heat indexes well over 100 degrees. And that's what our uh, cucumbers look like now. So I'm just gonna pull it all out. Um, Beans still look okay, except for where the ducks were eating them. And these guys are okay, but I gotta I gotta take the cage down. Um, our one watermelon's doing pretty good. That's growing here. I come over here. He's getting big up on there. So I'm gonna put him on the ground and do what people were suggesting on doing. Try to get our uh, gardens in order here. Um, corn ain't looking good. Corn's looking like absolute shit. So, uh, either the ducks ate it or I, I don't know. But I think I got to get some nitrogen because somebody suggested that. Throw that in here and try to help some of these plants thrive. So I'm going to do that. Look, at the ducks are coming out. I already started like doing some weeding and stuff. So they're eating all the weeds I threw out. But, yeah, gotta get to work. Doing Lambo. Trying to take a bath. What are you doing watching me? Hello, just hanging out in the shade. Where's the other duck? Oh, Ferrari's in the cage. <laughs> Lambo. Taking a bath. Are you doing, pretty girl? Enjoying this clean water. Yeah. You having fun? 
You glad we changed the water? Oh, oh heck yeah. It's bath? so much nicer when it's clean water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Bailey. Yeah, she's taking a bath. She's trying to get clean. You want to go? You want to go in the pool? Hell no, Dad. You know I don't like the water. Do you want to go in the pool? Kiss my ass. I ain't going in the pool. No, you don't. All right. So, I figured out that I can get this guy working. However, I'm pretty sure the battery for it is shot. So, this is the battery pack for it. And these batteries, I know are good, because they are out of the boy's uh, motorcycle. So... I'm gonna see if I can rewire and set them up to be like these. Because I know these are bad. They're showing full, but there's not enough power. Like, it says they're full power, but the bike, like, gives out after just a minute of riding. So, that doesn't, that doesn't bode right. So either the battery's bad itself, or the motor's all worn out, or the controller module is bad. So we'll see. I mean, I did adjust the lighting. I redid the brakes so they actually work, because before you could have this thing pulled all the way back and it wouldn't stop, um, especially if I want this to go faster. Uh, so now when you pull all the way back, it, it locks these brakes up. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take this apart and set up these like this. And hopefully it'll work. <laughs> so we're going to give it a shot. I do have another battery pack of these, but I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, is that they just went bad. Um, so there's the other battery pack for this. So we'll do an experiment. If that's the case, then, I mean, this looks like the size of my 36 inch that we put in the boys' motorcycle. I, if I have to buy a new battery, then I would probably go with a 36 volts in this 24 volt setup, give it the extra power, give it the extra um, psych, duty cycle, make it run longer. So we're gonna try it out. <clears throat> All right, so I took these old uh, Razor Rambler 12 batteries. So they're two 12 volts connected together and make it 24. I used um, these guys right here. Shrink butt connectors, heat shrink butt connectors. So it should give a waterproof seal. I'm also just gonna throw electro tape around it just, just to make sure. Um, the way the Razor was set up is it had a 30 uh, amp fuse to connect the two. Um, I put this end on because this is the end that the scooter needs. So yeah, all I got to do is put a fuse in and I'm just going to, like I said, put the extra tape on just to make sure, throw it in the scooter and see what happens. I don't know how much charge these batteries have. They've been sitting for a couple months now, but we'll find out. And now this thing goes. I tested myself on it and I was able to do 14 miles an hour on it. So, I know it works. Xander's just not used to riding this thing. Go Xander, floor it. Go. Oh yeah, it goes pretty good with just him. Put your foot on there. I still got one more scooter to do. I'll show you this other one, here's Freya. What are you doing Freya? <laughs> so you can see I have my wire and stuff out. So this is the next scooter I gotta fix. It will charge up. But when you throttle it, you can hear like something clicking inside. So it's not making a full connection to the, to the rear motor. So there's something, a wire messed up or the controller's bad in it. I don't know. But it's a razor. So that means you can get parts for it pretty easy. Um, I'd like to get this one running because then we would have two scooters and then the motorcycle. Me and the boys could all ride on the electric scooters then. Right, Freya? Yeah. Yeah. Where's your pants? 
You just wearing your long shirt like a dress? Yeah. All right, so Xander took my phone. We did a GPS track, mile per hour. He did 16 mile an hour. So now imagine with this thing with a bigger battery, these kids are gonna be flying on that thing. So I'm pretty happy that it works and the speed it gets. So, and it was free. I already had the 24 volt battery packs for it. And I got that for free from my dad. It's 13 years old. So yeah, it was due for new batteries, but it works and it was free. So now each of the boys have a motorcycle or a scooter, motorcycle, whatever to be able to ride. So that's pretty Hello awesome. guys, today we're gonna be doing a challenge video. The last two weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe. Being a challenge you video. So this is the boys new video on their craze bro channel check it out leave a like subscribe Bjorn would get such a huge kick out of it if this video does well uh, this is their first video in over a year on their channel which we are trying to do new videos every week see you next time bye